how to resize images uh, for the Plastic Hirofiki uh, product catalog, and this goes. This is the same for the website or for the Facebook page um, or for anywhere else where we're selling online. So uh, there's some images. Um, Mr. Sukri took some. Let me see if I can find them quickly. I downloaded them earlier. So here we have, let's say, the coaster. So I'm going to open up an image. Sorry, this one's already resized. Let me go to one that's not resized, like this dolphin over here. This image was taken on iPhone. If I double click on it on a Mac, it opens up in preview. Uh, what I would do next is I would just crop it um, by just uh, holding on the shift key. And so it crops into a square. And then I would try to position the square so that it's nicely. So I'm happy with the placement of it, maybe a slightly bit bigger in this case, something like that. Once I'm happy with it, I then go to uh, Tools and Crop. That now crops my whole image into um, a square. And then I'm going to go to Tools and I'm going to go to Adjust Size. And uh, for everything that we have online, we're making it 400 pixels by 400 pixels. And because we, we held down Shift, it's going to um, adjust size um, equally, so the same um, uh, proportionally. Then I hit OK. Um, and that's now uh, an image that's resized. Um, within, I think I can, if I don't like the way it looks, there's not that many tools that Preview gives you, but I think I can hit this, uh, I don't know if that did anything. Did it do anything? I think in theory it's supposed to make it look a bit nicer here. Um, I can also go to Tools and Adjust Color, and I think there's some options it gives me over here. Um, so let's just say I want to increase the saturation a bit. Um, that looks a bit better maybe. Um, I can obviously play around with that. That doesn't look good in this case. You don't have that many options, but you have some I issues. And anyway, uh, once you're happy with it, you can get out of this, and then you can save file and export, and then export it to the folder that you want to do it. In this case, um, I'm going to go back to where was it within shop, and it is a uh, what is this for a keychain? So I would save it here and I'd give it a name that I would recognize um, like key and dolphin. In this case, we already have one here, so I'm actually just going to call it dolphin2 just so we don't confuse it with the one that's there already. And we can choose the better one, key dolphin2. I'm going to put the quality up to best and hit save. And that's again, that's what we, we got to do that for all images and all products that we have. And then we can use these images on the online store and everything else. Thank you.